Hi, this is Daniel from the Ultimate Guitar Academy, and I want to take a quick moment to tell you everything you need to know about your electric guitar. As you can see, the guitar has the same main three parts as the acoustic guitar. We have the body, the neck, and the head. We still operate this guitar by holding down strings and then playing that string, however the way the guitar itself functions is a little different. You might notice that the body has no sound hole. This means that our electric guitar is only going to be this loud. That's not loud enough. So we have these things which are called pickups. They literally pick up the sound. They're basically magnets. This guitar has two pickups. This one we call the bridge pickup and this one we call the neck pickup because it's next to the bridge and next to the neck. Some guitars will have a third in the middle and that's called the middle pickup. There are different kinds of pickups. These ones have covers over them, however some guitars won't have covers. These pickups are called humbuckers. They're slightly larger than the other kind, which is called single coil. I'll show you those in a minute. The whole idea behind humbuckers is that they're quiet when you're not playing, and then when you do play, they're louder and have higher output. The whole purpose of this is to eliminate the buzzing noise that you get when you keep your guitar on, but you're not playing anything. On the body of the guitar, you'll also notice we have these two knobs. On this guitar, one's for volume and one is for tone. I'm going to come back to that one in a few minutes. Some guitars will have three or even four of these. It just varies depending on what guitar you have. There's also a toggle switch. This toggle switch changes what pickup I'm going to be using. This toggle switch is sometimes moved on the guitar and located in the top corner here. In order to play my electric guitar, I'm going to need a guitar lead. This is the cable that we use to plug the guitar into the amplifier. I simply take one end of this lead and plug it into the input on my guitar. That's this little hole that you'll find on the end of the body, on the side, just like that. We simply plug that in, then take the other end of the lead and plug it into the amp. Your amp might have several locations where we can plug this in. The one we're looking for is usually labelled input. The next step is to make sure we actually turn the amp on. And then if the volume is up, we should have sound. All amps are going to be slightly different, but the main functions are usually volume, bass, middle and treble. Volume is pretty straightforward, it simply turns your sound up or down. The bass, middle and treble knobs adjust the type of sound that your amp is making. Bass is low pitch frequencies, treble is high pitch frequencies, and middle is all of the sound that occurs in between. Here's an example of the bass turned up to full. As you can hear, it's very low pitched and quite muffled. Here's an example of the middle turned up to full. As you can hear, it's still a little muffled, but still a lot clearer than when the bass was turned up to full. And here's the treble turned up to maximum as well. As you can hear, it's very, very twangy and sharp sounding. What you want to do is find a good balance between these. If you're not sure, just put all of them into the middle setting. That should give you a relatively even sound. Now back to your guitar. I mentioned before we have a neck pickup and a bridge pickup. Let's compare the two. The neck pickup usually sounds very warm and rich. In order to change pickups, I simply toggle that switch towards the back, like so. Now I'm using the bridge pickup. Let's have a listen to that. Much sharper and much more twangy. We usually use the bridge pickup if we want a really twangy country sound, or if we're using some distortion for heavy rock. On this guitar, I can also choose to have my switch in the middle. That means I'm using both pickups at once, and it's going to have a mix of those two sounds. Let's have a listen. Still very warm, but slightly twangier than when I use just the neck pickup. The volume knob on your guitar will simply turn your sound up or down. The tone knob is a little more confusing, and people often wonder what it actually does. All it simply does is turns the treble of your guitar itself down. That's it. And the result is a muffled sound. A great example of this is if I talk to you normally, and then decide to cover my mouth, it gets very hard to understand what I'm saying. So it's the same thing with your guitar. If I play normally, but then turn the tone knob down, we get a muffled sound. 
You might sometimes get a scratchy sound when you turn these knobs up and down. That's simply dirt and dust inside the knob itself and needs to be cleaned out. Here's a different electric guitar. This is called a Stratocaster design, commonly referred to as just a Strat. As you notice, it has three pickups, all of which are single coil, so they're much skinnier than those big fat humbuckers, and these don't have covers over them, so they don't look like just a flat piece of metal, they look like they've got these funny little dots on them. They're the magnets. You'll also notice we have one volume and two tone knobs. That's because this volume controls the whole overall volume of the guitar, no matter what pickup I'm using. But these tone knobs are assigned to certain pickups. My switch here is a five-way switch, so I could use the neck, the neck and middle, the middle, middle and bridge, or just the bridge pickups. Let's compare the sound. Here's the neck, neck and middle, middle, middle and bridge, and bridge only. As you can hear, the closer we get to that bridge, the twangier we get. Now let's look at those tone knobs. One tone knob is going to be for my neck pickup. This means if I turn that down to zero but then change pickups, those pickups will still have full tone. The second tone knob on this guitar is for the bridge pickup only. That's a little different to other guitars. Most Stratocaster guitars will have a tone knob for the neck pickup as well as the middle and then nothing for the bridge. So your tone for the bridge is stuck on full. When you're first getting started, I highly recommend just keeping all of these up to maximum and then using either your neck or your neck and middle pickup configuration on your guitar. They'll give you the nicest, cleanest type of sound. I'd like to mention two more quick things about the electric guitar. One is that the shape of the body has something called a cutaway or a cutout. That's this little gap we have in here so that I can get my hand in nice and high. This means I can reach the high frets like 18 or even 22. You may come across this feature in some acoustic guitars, but it tends to be most common in electric guitars. The very last thing I want to talk about is the whammy bar also known as a tremolo arm. That's this here little bar that we use to screw into the bridge of the guitar, like this. We can use this bar to push down and loosen our strings, creating a very floppy sound. Here's what we get. A lot of people think this is the same as vibrato. Vibrato is where we wobble the string. It's not really the same. Vibrato raises the pitch of the note, whereas the tremolo arm lowers the pitch of the note. Now the way your tremolo system on your guitar works might be different to this one. There are many different designs out there and they all work slightly different but achieve very similar goals. The last thing I want to mention is distortion. Now distortion is that fuzzy, crunchy, rock guitar sound that we get when we either push a button on our guitar or use a pedal to get that sound. On this amp I have here, I can press a button to give me distortion and then turn a knob up that turns up how much distortion I'm getting. Let me give you a demonstration. Pushing that button turns distortion on and then if I play something, you can hear I've got some slight distortion. As I turn that distortion up, you'll notice the sound of the distortion is turned up as well. You can probably also hear that buzzing sound. That's typical of these single coil pickups, but less common in humbucker pickups. If you do have three single coil pickups, in order to get rid of that buzzing sound, you can go to the position where you're using your middle and bridge pickup, or your middle and neck pickup. There's a complicated reason as to why this works, but let's not get into that now. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us over at ultimateguitaracademy.com forward slash contact. Have fun with your electric and acoustic guitars, and until next time, keep shredding.